you know, I have three readathons in December. One including my own, one on Twitter, one on Instagram. Send help. Fa la 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 la. Alright, hi guys, well, welcome back to my channel, and hello if you are new here, I know some of you are, so uh, welcome, welcome, that kind of sounded like the Hunger Games, but we're gonna roll with it, alright, now like I said in the beginning, we're gonna talk about christmas a -thong that I'm doing over on my Instagram page, which is at Books with Tippy. <laughs> I'll try to leave it down below in the section. But anyway, we're going to talk about the props for christmas a -thong, which is we do have a group book that I have yet to read and I'm excited about that. And our group book is The After... Life of Holly Chase by Cindy Ahan. And basically all I know about this one is that it's a Scrooge retelling and hmm, sign me up. Alright, on Christmas Eve five years ago, Holly was visited by three ghosts who showed her how selfish and spoiled she'd become. They tried to convince her to mend her ways. She didn't. And then she died. Now she's stuck working for the top secret company Project Scrooge. As the last ghost of Christmas passed, so far Holly's afterlife has been miserable. But this year Scrooge is about to change everything. That sounds incredible. I remember liking the Scrooge movie when I watched it and how he did get visited by the three ghosts and creepy, weird, but also really good, and I want to read this book about that. Alright, I'm moving on from the other prompts. Alright, prompt number two, read a book whose cover has Christmas colors. Now for that, I am going to be rereading one of my favorite Christmas books, and I got one of my besties. She's going to read this book along with me, and that is called What Night by Jay Asher. Oh, it is so good. I love it. Alright, Sierra's family runs a Christmas tree farm in Oregon. It's a ballic setting for a girl to grow up in, except that every year they pack up and move to California to set their Christmas tree lot for the season. So, Sierra lives two lives. Her life in Oregon and her life at Christmas. And leaving one always means missing the other. Until so this particular Christmas when Sierra meets Caleb and one life eclipses the other. By reputation, Caleb is not your perfect guy. Years ago, he made an enormous mistake and has been paying for it ever since. Sierra sees beyond Caleb's past and becomes determined to help him find forgiveness and maybe redemption, but disapproval, miscommunications, and suspicions swirl around them. Caleb and Sierra can't help but wonder if love really is enough to overcome every obstacle. And like I said, it's really good, it's sweet and short. Oh. I need to revisit up this it's very soon. And I'm excited about it. Alright, the next prompt is to read a translated Christmas story. Now for that, I'm reading one of my friends' book that she wrote. It's called A Christmas Miracle. And it's a really good book. It's the fourth one in the series. And oh, it's a short little collections to a Christmas extravaganza. I, I, I probably butchered that and I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, it's really cute. It's a Christian novel and it's got Christmas and they eat these little gingerbread cookies. It's so good. So if you haven't read them, 
I definitely get them because they are on Kindle. And just look how cute that cover is. I I'm gushing about this because we need to gush. Alright. Go back. Alright. So that's the one I'm planning on reading for that one. Alright, read a book with snow in the title. And for this one, I've heard good things about it. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I like to go into my books pretty blind. Some of them are on my Kindle, so it's going to take me a bit before I find it. There we go. Give me the cover. It is called Snow in Love by, it has four different authors, Melissa Dale Cruz, Nick Stone, Amy Friedman, and Casey West. Like I said, I've heard like kind of good things about it, kind of mixed reviews about this book, but I am definitely excited to get into it and finally read it. And plus, with the Christmas stuff going on, it's just, uh, it's a perfect timing for it, really. Alright, and then the other prompt we have is, read in your PJs. Now, for that book, I am going to be reading In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. This is my first Christina Lauren book. And I'm just going to read the top version of it, because the rest, I... I kind of want to go into most of my books pretty blind, so that's what I'm going to do with this one as well. One Christmas Wish, two brothers and a lifetime of hope are on the line. For hapless Malin Jones in a Holidays, the quintessential romantic holiday novel by Christina Lauren. And that's all I said I want to give a blurb about but the book is super cute it's got lights on it and some ornaments hanging around and mm, it sounds super cute I'm excited all right and then the other two prompts we have is a read a book you need to finish before 2021 and that one I'm citing is going to be Winterwood. Again, there's a theme going on here. <laughs> Most of them are Christmas books, of course, and this one I really need to get some more into and just look at, look at that underneath the dust jacket. It's gorgeous. And this book has been around for a little bit as well. I'm just, I'm always late to the party, you guys. That, that's all it is. I'm just late to the party. All right. The Walker woman of Firehaven have always lived in the woods. Some say the first walker woman came from the forest, her bones built of roots and thorns as she sprouted up from the ground. This is where their legacy began, a strange and mythical legacy rooted in rumors and folklore. Over the years have been many tales of the walker woman. Most, ha most have been lost, stories forgotten, fables and myths washed away with spring rains. This is the yeah, this story is one such tale. It was in it was once scattered like autumn leaves buried in the soil, stitched there until it arose, until something stirred it loose, until the forest shuddered and opened its eyes. We don't know what that was but just roll with it. <laughs> Alright, and then for the last prompt is read the group book, which again is The Afterlife of Holly Chase. Again, excited, and hopefully we get to it right away, because mood and yes. <laughs> Alright, and here you guys have it. That is my... <clears throat> Props for Christmas a thong. It's not a whole lot of books on this one, but that's okay. I still have one more read a thong that I'm doing that I'll be making a video for that as well. All in the same night. We're in a roll. <laughs> Alrighty. 
and if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit the video like down below and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in a new video soon. Okay, okay bye! Welcome back to yet another video. I'm going to be talking about the readathon that I'm doing over on my Instagram, which is called Christmasathon. And oh, I'm excited. I'm hosting it, and along with other two, three friends on there. I blinked, it's been a long day. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the prompts, shall we? guys welcome back to my channel I am going to be going over at least one of a readathon that I am currently in the middle of that started November 22nd that goes until December 21st that one of my friends is doing over on Instagram since there's a lot of books I'm gonna talk about these ones first and I already finished one of them so go me Woo. all right so I guess without further ado, let's just uh, go ahead and jump into these beauties and uh, chat a little bit about them, shall we? Alright, we shall. Okay. Excuse my other ones that I'm currently <laughs> yeah, in the middle of. It. It's fine. We're fine. She says. And adjusting my mirror behind me, don't mind me. books are falling everything's fine it's fine we're okay <laughs> all right for this readathon I'm going to talk about is called strategist readathon like I said it started from November 22nd and it's going until no till December 21st it's been a day <laughs> it really has it's been a fun day <laughs> anyway all right one of the prompts is read a book with a fire on the cover. And for that one, I decided I'm going to try and finish the rest of Kingdom of Ash. And it has like ashes like kind of burning like around the cover there. And it is gorgeous. And I just really need to finish the last book to Throne of Glass. I've been putting it off for a couple of years because <laughs> it's thick and the pages are super thin and... I want to treat them with care. I, I don't want anything happening to my pages of this precious last book that I need to know the answers to like everything that happens in this book because I know there's a lot in this last one and just it's intimidating, okay? We'll leave it at that. Alright, moving on from Kingdom of Ash. Alright. Strategists love can be represented Oh, sorry. By the color blue. Read a book with blue on the cover. And for that, I have already finished. Which was... Ooh, the Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. And if you haven't read this one yet... Oh, I absolutely adore it. It's still one of my favorites of all time. Between Ronnie and Will. They, like, fall in love during the summer. And like a lot of stuff goes down and there's a lot of secrets they don't tell each other and when they do it explodes and fun fact it is a movie because this is the movie cover and not the original cover I like this cover and as you can see it's decked out in blue so we got that one done and yes so we're moving on from that is my book trash to bend it's page naughty book <laughs> Alright, the next one we have is read a book that takes place somewhere other than where you live. Now, for that one, I'm going with This Coven Won't Break by Isabel Sterling. This is the second book to These Witches Don't Burn, which I currently read this year, and I absolutely loved it. I tapped about mm, the entire book. So I'm hoping to do the same with this one, and this takes place in 
Salem, Massachusetts, which I do not live in, but I would love to go and visit one day, and all these witchy books that I read and see the word Salem makes me want to go, you know, even more. So I'll be reading this book hopefully for another readathon that I want to do next month as well. So this book, if it doesn't get done during this one, it'll get done during another readathon. So fingers crossed I get it done for both because that would just be awesome. Alrighty. The next prompt we have is read a book with a lot of comedy or a comic belief character. Now for that one, I am going to be reading the manga version of The Maximum Ride of Volume 2 by James Patterson. I haven't read the second one of the comic book yet, but I love the series of the original books and I have the comic book versions of them now, so I definitely want to get through to them eventually. So we're hoping to get this done and the kids in here, the flock, they're, they crack me up, so we're counting it. It's funny and shouldn't have to go through that much for only being a certain young age for a maximum ride. Just, yeah. Alright, we're moving on. <laughs> Read a book with an unexpected plot twist. Now for that one, I went with this one, Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscoli. She is the author who wrote Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I definitely need to finish that. Anyway, that's for another video. Um, I did read this. I already got this book done and oh, I was obsessed. I kind of want to go back and reread it, but this is a also in the front as well in the back but look at those M pages it is so cool anyway there it talks about these twin sisters and one of them ends up dying so the twin that's left is trying to find out her sister's murderer she finds this knife right next to her sister and she tries something down and things kind of twist and turn from there and the, the ending of this didn't see that coming it was it was very interesting I'll, I'll tell you that much but if you haven't read this yet i would definitely get your hands on kingdom of the wicked because it is wicked you, you see what i did there wicked uh, we're moving on from that pun that was a really bad pun <laughs> all right and then Read a book with a strong, independent main character. Again, since you can double up, I am reading Kingdom of Ash because it's a huge book and love the main character in this one. I won't say your name in case some of you haven't met this character yet, so she will be nameless for now. But if you know who she is, then give me a thumbs up emoji to let me know you know. <laughs> Who the main character is which is this girl right here on the cover of course but uh that's all i'm gonna say about that all right the next prompt is read a book with two contrasting ideas not really sure exactly what that means but i am going to be working the rest on crush by tracy wolf this is the second book to crave and I'm not very far hidden, of course, but so far, ooh, I, I want to know what Grace does when she gets back. Like, ah, it's interesting. It's like, I want to know where it goes and what Jackson's up to and what they do and if Hudson never comes back. Like, just all these open clue mysteries and that I need more of. That, that's it. I just need more of it. Alright, and then the next prompt is read a book that is totally lit. And for that one, I went with the last song. I'm not going to grab it out again. But I went with that one, finished it, loved it. Ooh, it was awesome. Alright, the other prompt we have is read a popular slash 
and hyped book and for that one I'm gonna go with A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow and hopefully I pronounced that incorrectly if not I am so sorry but the only thing that I really know about this one is that it's a mermaid's retelling I believe but let me give you the description on this one a song below water is the story for today's readers a captivating cap modern fantasy about black mermaids friendship and self-discovery set against the challenges of today's racism and sexism oh, that sounds good in a society determined to keep her under lock and key tavia must hide her siren powers meanwhile Effie is fighting her own family struggles. She is pitted against literal demons from her past. Together, these best friends must navigate the pearls of high school senior or junior year, not senior. <laughs> but everything changes in the aftermath of a siren murder trial that rocks the nation when Tavia accidentally lets out her magical voice at the worst possible moments. Soon, nothing in Portland, Oregon seems safe to save themselves from drowning. Chavia and Effie's unbreakable sisterhood must prove to be the strongest magic of all. That sounds really good, and I've been seeing this floating around on booktube, and I just really need to get to it. Like I said, it sounds super good, and I'm stoked to read this. And it looks like one of those books that you can devour in a day because it's short. I wish it was a little bit longer. But I'm excited to read this. Alright. The next prompt is read a book with the main character who's a strategist. Now for that one, I'm going to be going with the Bane Chronicles. I forgot to cry this book out. But I need to read this one for in the Shadow Hunter series books because I have this one and a few others left this series to read, and I just need more of Magnus Bane, okay? That's it, that's all we need is more of Magnus Bane. Do I need to say more? Oh, I just love him and Alec together in their relationship. It's just mwah. chef's kiss. That's all I have to say. Chef's kiss. Come on, Mr. Bane, go back in there. <laughs> he doesn't want to go back on the shelf. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and then we have one more prompt left for this read-a-thong, which is a read. Then you have to like pick out the number between the 3rd, 7th, 9th, 12th, or 21st book on your shelf, and then you got free space. Okay, for this prompt, I picked the ninth book on my shelf, which was... The Shadows Between Us by Tracia Levensteller. I've heard nothing but good things about this book, and it's also short, and I'm also currently in the middle of it, and I really need to finish it, so this will hopefully give me the motivation to do so. So, there is that. Alright, so that is all my books that I have for the Strategist readathon that my friend is hosting, so... That is fun and exciting. Alright, and I will see you guys in my other two readathons that I plan on doing for the month of December. So, I'm going to end the video here, and I will see you guys in the other two. Alright, bye!